Hey guys, it's Sam and welcome to my office reorganization vlog. I've been in this apartment now for nearly a year and while my office has been decent, it has still been such a work in progress for so long. And so this month I finally nailed everything down, what I wanted to do, how I wanna make it complete, and everything. So I am updating my desk, I got a second bookshelf, and I'm rearranging everything so that it's more orderly and doesn't make my brain want to scream. Uh, I will show you it in its current condition as well. No covering up, no cleaning everything beforehand. This is also perfect timing because as of the filming of this, it's the spring equinox for me, and spring equinox is like spring cleaning, you know, like fresh starts kind of thing. So it's good timing for this uh, for my brain. But yeah, for a while now, I've been hobbling two desks together to make everything work. I've wanted a standing desk for a while. So yeah, and we're running out of room on this bookshelf also for the red books. So it's time to expand. Let me show you the current condition of the office. So this is my desk setup, And as you can see, it's two desks. You might not be able to kind of tell, but it's actually two desks side by side. This is just like a cheap computer desk and this is my actual desk. It's also not deep enough. Um, so not everything can fit. If you can see my computer monitor back here is in a windowsill, which I don't want to have anymore because I will be able to open that window more. Um, and it's just chaos, but I need to have it long enough to use my walking pad that I have set up. And yeah, I just want it to be like a standing desk. This is what I I have for my book setup and my plan I don't have the bookcase back in yet but this bookcase came back into stock so I'm gonna have those two side by side and figure out what to do with this it might stay in here it might not but that's the plan for that which will be later on in this vlog because like I said hasn't come in yet so first we're gonna tackle the desk situation with the cleaning up of all of this putting some things away and then building a new desk so this video is in collaboration with flexi spot which is the desk brand that reached out to me as I was already planning on buying a standing desk but they conveniently reached out to me right at the same time and we're like would you be interested in in trying out this product. I had already done a lot of research on them, so I said yes, absolutely. So they did send me the standing desk I'm gonna to put together, which is an automatic electric standing desk. Uh, you don't have to crank it or anything and you can set it at different positions. You'll see it when I set it up. Um, but they sent me that. I'm not quite sure if the size that I got is going to be big enough, but it is way deeper. Um, and again, it's that electronic, so I'm not having to put anything on the desk to like lift it up to use for when I'm on my walking pad, things like that. Um, and I just think it's gonna be more comfortable overall and it's just that deeper like computer desk that I've wanted for quite some time. So I am going to first set that up. Um, clean up everything here, set that up. Should be a pretty easy setup, and I will show you guys that whole process and let you know what I think of the desk, and then by the time I get my bookshelves in the later part of this vlog, I can give you a little bit of a rundown of me having used the desk for probably at least a few days, if not a few weeks by the time the bookshelf comes in. So I'm gonna go get started on that. Um, now obviously it's just like the essential bits that are on there, so I'm going to set up the desk. So here's how the desk comes in boxes like this. So that is the desktop, and then down here are the bits. I was sent a drawer for storage um, along with the uh, like cable management system. It's not quite cable management. Uh, you'll see. It's, it's, it's more, it's like an extended, more plugs. It goes on the desk. Anyway, it helps with cable management, but it's not technically cable management. So this is how it comes, uh, and then I will be starting to put it together. Hopefully it's not too hard. You know, I should probably actually move the desk and everything out of the way.
All right, there it is all set up with the cable management right there to get all those cables. So the desk itself has really good cable management. They also offer a cable management system for all your other stuff. So my other cable management is not gonna be managed, but this is. Here it is, very wide. I may still need it to be longer because um, I do need to fit that underneath it. Or maybe I can just finagle it and have that on like the side somewhere. I, don't know. I, I will work that out because it being deeper gives me so much more room for activities. And I feel like it being way longer would maybe, well, I have some room over there too. So I think it would still work. But yeah, now I can do the lifting and lowering with this bit. So it has the up. Very nice. So generally speaking, I'm gonna need it this height-ish for work, which is about 28. And then for the walking pad, I do like maybe 46. And this will also help keep my desk clutter-free too because I won't need like laptop stands and stuff because I can just raise and lower it as I see fit. So even for work, for example, instead of using my laptop stand, I can just bring this up here. And if I need to use my camera and the one I want to type, just put it back down to whatever height is nice. So in general, I can now just like adjust this to what I need to be like ergonomic and sitting up straight all the time. Let's see how high it goes. 49.4, so this is as high as it will go. I won't really ever probably need that. So here's the keypad and I can set it to standing, sitting in like different settings so I can like be like, here's what I want for everything and, and get that all set up. So it, I can just hit the one button instead of having to adjust it every time once I find the good heights. There we have it, there is the desk set up. I'm going to get everything on the desk, try to move some of this other stuff around in here and get all the other desk and everything cleared out and then show you everything when it's like fully set up. But this so far gives me so much more space. I can finally take the monitor out. I'm so excited about this. All right, here's the halfway finished product. I still have to attach the other accessories I got for the flexi spot. Uh, like I do that tomorrow because it's already getting late tonight. But see, I have my tower with plenty of room on the desk. I have the cable stuff in the windowsill now. I can open and close that window way more easily now. Um, and yeah, the underneath you can't really see, but I will need some cable management. But there's some things that I could probably switch around. I could probably take the switch out of here, things like that. So. Yeah, so far so good. We'll see if I can use it with um, the walking pad always here, even when I'm working, because kind of it's a pain in the ass to like take it back and forth because I try to use the walking pad like between clients and stuff. Um, but I think I can, I think my chair will fit here perfectly. And yeah, so I might not need the bigger one. We will see. Um, I think a little more space on the ends might be good, but we'll, we'll see if it ends up being worth it. So what I'm gonna try to do is actually get some like, like a riser for my monitor. Um, and maybe some desk accessory things to be real cute. But that's gonna be later. So you'll see me in a different day, different outfit. So tragically, the bookshelf that is the match to this one uh, is now back ordered. And I'm not gonna get it for like two more months potentially. So they just refunded my order. So the bookshelf setup will not be happening in this video. So part one of two of the office organization. So I've been using the desk for a few weeks now and here's some footage of me using the desk both with my walking pad and sitting down. But this desk is perfect for what I needed it for. The great thing about it too is how stable it is. This is the Pro Plus E7 standing desk from FlexiSpot and it does not wobble even at its highest setting. This is how I have it when I'm doing my walking on it. There's no wobbling. I feel very secure with all my stuff on it. The cats jump on it and everything while I'm working while it's up like this and it's super stable. FlexiSpot does offer a four-legged standing desk as well for extra stability if you had a ton of stuff you need to put on your desk but for my purposes I have not been afraid of the stability with this desk at all which I know is a concern for other standing desks. So this desk has definitely been a game changer for me. This is what I wanted out of a standing desk. The flexibility, the stability, the being able to use it for multiple different things, for sitting up, for standing, for again sitting up straight like that. 
um, and making sure that it's comfortable and ergonomic, which is important to me when I'm working long hours at home. So I really like this desk. If you're interested in trying this desk out, there's a 30 day risk-free return policy and a 15 year warranty. They have a ton of options for desks on their website. So definitely go and check them out if you're interested in trying out a standing desk. And that is going to be it for this video. Uh, I don't have a friend to assist me with the drawer right now. So you will see the finished product of the desk. I mean, I've been using the desk and love the desk, like I've been saying, um, but you will see the finished accessories and stuff on the desk and the new bookshelves when those come back in with the back order and stuff. So this is gonna be a two-parter. I don't know when the second part will be out, uh, but that's that's that. So the editing station of my book room, book organization is done. The desk is lovely for that. Uh, and you will see future organization for the shelves when those come in. So I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely let me know if you have any desk accessory places that you recommend because I plan on diving headfirst into that. And I hope you're looking forward to part two when that eventually happens. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.